In my Martian review, I told you guys I would be reviewing Bridge of Spies, and well, here you go, Bridge of Spies. This movie is directed by Steven Spielberg and stars Tom Hanks and Mark Rylance, I believe his name is, who plays the Russian guy, Rudolph, um, forgot his last name. But anyway, um, this film is really good, uh, loosely, or, well, not loosely, supposedly based on a true story about a guy, um, a lawyer played by Tom Hanks, who's supposed to defend this Russian uh, spy who the FBI catch in his apartment and is accused of spying on the American. Now, James Donovan, as Tom Hanks plays in this film, um, is just a um, insur insurance lawyer guy, but since he's like the best insurance lawyer they could find, they get him to go over to um, uh, Berlin, where to negotiate a peace treaty, sort of, of a release of one of their um, spies that the Russians catch, and they want to exchange spies, like spy for spy, so practically they're exchanging men, and while this is all happening, it's very cool to know that, like, Tom Hanks is defending a guy accused of spying, and yet at the same time, the Russians are accusing an American of spying on their country. So it's really cool. It, it almost just tells you, like, how that, like, you know, even... It almost is, like, a moral lesson, kind of, to this movie. Like, you know, if we're accusing somebody of doing something, but yet we're doing the same thing, is that right or wrong? And they explain that a lot in this movie, which I really already a minute maybe even less than a minute in and i fell in love with this movie the cinematography and the filming for this movie is by far one of the best i've ever seen in just amazing if i ever do a um i would say this movie ranks in probably my you know what i'm not sure but it's definitely probably it's definitely yeah one of my favorite movies of the year i'll tell you that so you guys might already be guessing what grade i'm gonna give this review but Please continue to watch. Um, I'll try to not be boring. I'll try to wrap this up. Never happens. Um, I say a lot of things that I don't necessarily do. I try, but anyway, stop me rambling. But um, yeah. But anyway, the film in this movie is great. Easily one of Spielberg's best movies of all time, and personally one of my favorite of Spielberg movies of all. It's just the shots are so put together in this film. They're so simple and so old-fashioned. It's almost like noir kind of filming how just like two guys sit across from each other at a table and they're just filming the side view of them eating and talking. It's so good and so artistic and amazing. I also love how in this film they do not try to use a lot of music in this film. The soundtrack is very limited. There is not a lot of tracks to this movie, although the soundtrack is composed by Thomas Newman, I believe, who did um, the Skyfall soundtrack, for those of you Bond. This movie all depends on opinion, definitely. If you are a fan of history movies and a fan of spy Cold War type drama movies, this movie you will fall in love with. It probably might be, it's just, it's an amazing movie if you're into those type of films. If not, if you're not really into those history movies and those slow drama, because I have to break it to you guys, but it's true. I've heard um, from different viewers uh, the same thing I'm telling you now, that this movie bear has like no action hardly. The only thing it has is a plane crash, which I guess if you call that action-y, a, um, pretty much everything you kind of saw in the trailer, a minor torture scene, actually it's not really a torture scene, it's more of a interrogation scene, all they do is splash water on the guy and kind of slap him around a bit, and, um, a mild, like, shooting scene that happens between the main character's house, not really a spoiler alert, because you guys, um, uh, saw it on the trailers, nobody gets killed though, so really, this film has hardly any action at all it is all dialogue but the dialogue is so intense and so good and that's what i was afraid of while going into this film because i was hugely let down by the martian if you guys saw that review of mine um that you know i was so anticipated to see this movie and then when i saw it i was just like oh um, not what I was expecting that really got me down this i was a little scared it looked so good based on the trailer, but then I heard people say that this film moves along a little bit slower if you're not into that, um, intense dialogue, or if you're not into, like, a lot of dialogue and stuff, and I, 
wasn't really sure because nobody really said that like this film had like great dialogue i mean they said it was good but like i was scared because like i said in my last review i'm a hard i'm not hard but i'm a different movie critic like i have a lot of different opinions i'm like all random i like all sorts of movies i like some movies that get awful reviews and i agree with movies that get amazing reviews i'm all over the board and for this movie i do agree with i agree with rotten tomatoes giving this a 93 percent i agree with that rating i think this is great and I really just adore it. But again, it's all, this movie really depends on your point of view of filming, or not filming rather, um, movies in general. If you're not a big fan of heavy dialogue and if that gets too intense for you, this is not the film for you. Don't bother seeing it. You're not going to like it. But if you enjoy great dialogue and love looking at beautiful, well-together put shots and um, good kind of dramatic, there's some suspense in this movie too just by the dialogue. That's how good the dialogue is. And the acting's so good too. It feels so realistic, especially the use of hardly any music when like Tom Hanks and um um uh Mark uh Rylan or whatever is sitting across from it and there's barely there's no music at all and you can almost hear like background noises like the light and stuff and it's just so good it feels like you're actually there god it's such a good movie I'm almost dying of just talking about it Anyway, for me personally, um, and a bunch of other people I know, this movie I actually do agree with many other people. This movie was great in my opinion. Um, however, some of you may not like it if you're not into this type of movie. Some of you may love it. I'm giving this movie an A+. Easily one of my personal favorites of the whole entire year. And if I ever do a top 10 movies of the year, this is going to rank super high. I can guarantee it. So anyway, guys, that should wrap up the video there. Um... That's all I gotta say, and until then, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.